smart diplomacy, if you like. India, one of the world's fastest growing economies and home to 1.2 billion people, is in the midst of a defining urban transformation, with a new Indian government looking to build world-class infrastructure. Dovetailing diplomacy and development, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has unveiled his mission of building 100 smart cities in India, and he reached out to some of India's key partners, including the United States, Japan, Singapore, China, and Australia. During Prime Minister Modi's visit to Japan in September 2014, India and Japan signed a pact for developing the sacred city of Varanasi into a smart city on the lines of Kyoto. Similarly, talks are on with Singapore and Australia to develop smart cities in India. A smart city is defined variously, but one can identify its key features, which include developing green buildings, deploying technologies to enhance performance, focus on energy efficiency, healthcare, sustainable water supply, and forging a more proactive engagement with its citizens. The smart city diplomacy will be again in the spotlight during the forthcoming visit of US President Barack Obama to India as a guest of honor at the Republic Day celebrations. The two countries are expected to seal agreements on the US companies deploying the expertise and technologies to help transform Allahabad, Ajmer and Vishakhapatnam into smart cities. The agreement would involve the US partnering in the transformation of the three cities as a knowledge partner in areas of traffic management, solid waste management, garbage disposal and water storage, forging knowledge partnership built around infrastructure, transformation and skill building is the way to go. This is the true meaning of Challenge Saad Saad, Forward Together We Go. The defining partnership of the 21st century, as President Obama has said famously, is set to find a new home in smart, eco-friendly cities that promises to transform the urban landscape of India. Think smart, act smart, and let a hundred smart cities bloom.